Hello, it's Maxine K and yoga from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. And we are here on a very rainy, stormy, a dark and stormy night, bringing you a love note. Isn't she pretty? You saw her yesterday uh, when Reverend Mike was sending a love note uh, because she had a most beautiful spa day yesterday. And she's a pretty, pretty girl. And she knows it. Well, um, we live in a wonderful apartment. Some of you know, up on the fourth floor, overlooking the Great Valley. And we get to see the seasons changed. And tonight we've been looking out, uh, even at the lightning and, and we're listening to the thunder. It's an amazing night. But there are seven of these nice apartment buildings here where we are. And we had a contest recently. And the contest was to see which building could collect the most goods for the Chester County um, warming shelter, I think they called it. And, and uh, so we were to bring uh, lots of cleaning supplies and sanitizing things and clothing, brand new clothing, nice and warm uh, in different sizes in the original packages and so we had the contest and it felt wonderful doesn't it feel good when we share something with someone else that we know will be used and we know will be appreciated and really help somebody it just felt wonderful those intrinsic rewards of giving from our hearts and having the joy of it and you know the added fun the extrinsic part of it was uh, ha having this contest. <laughs> well, I'm here. We are here to tell you that building number two, where we live, won the contest. Yay! That's the extrinsic reward. And there's no reason not to have both, is there? We can feel wonderful about what we're doing that we know is for good. And if we get a little extra bonus and a and some pizza at the pizza party to celebrate, <laughs> then we can be grateful for that as well. So think about the things that, that just make you happy to participate in, just for their own sake, not for anything else. And then think back to the times that when you have participated in such lovely activity, that you also have gotten a surprise reward that you didn't even know about. Maybe you got a sweet thank you note. Uh, maybe maybe just some other great good began coming into your life. And it probably was a result of you sharing that good with others and with the universe itself. Because everything begins within, doesn't it? And everything expresses outwardly. And it's a beautiful circle, cycle. It's a movement from giving to receiving and giving again and receiving again. So, so it's wonderful. Think about those things. And, and perhaps that would, that would give you an opportunity to consider other things that you could do to make a difference in the world. Maybe it's just sending a little note to someone. Maybe it's helping somebody with the groceries. Um, any number of things. Taking your neighbor's puppy for a walk. Would be, that would be a nice thing to do too, especially in a storm like this. <laughs> so thank you for being the beautiful people you are. Thank you for tuning in to Reverend Mike and me and to our wonderful community, our spiritual community. And let's just keep staying connected with each other. Let's keep sharing beautiful ideas and opportunities to make a difference within our own lives and within the world itself. And of course, this Sunday is Palm Sunday, and we'll be focusing on the metaphysical uh, meaning of this sacred journey. And the following Friday is Good Friday, and that will be an opportunity for, for us to revisit um, a previous Good Friday celebration where we focused on the metaphysical interpretation and personal application of the seven last words of Jesus. They weren't words, they were phrases, and they were put together from three of the New Testament books many years ago by our 
Christian folks. Uh, and here's the big, big news, in case you haven't heard it. A week from Sunday, Easter Sunday itself, we will not be live streaming. We'll be doing something better. And that is, we will be gathering in person for a beautiful Easter celebration of the risen consciousness within us all. It will be held at the Great Valley Sheraton Hotel in Fraser, Pennsylvania at their regular time, 1030. We have a beautiful string quartet. We'll have our bountiful bouquet. We'll be gathering and, and just experiencing the joy of being together for that one Sunday. No, it won't be live streamed, but it will be recorded, videoed, so that later in the day, you can watch our Easter celebration there. So that will be wonderful. And then we'll continue live streaming from the following Sunday on while we are seeking a place, and this could be your assignment too, while we're seeking a place where we can gather monthly perhaps until the time comes that we have our own facility again. Yeah, we have a lot to look forward to. So let's keep giving from our hearts. Let's keep enjoying those intrinsic rewards of just giving life from the center of our hearts. Oh, excuse me, sneezy. Because that is the way we were designed to be. And then enjoying those little fringe benefits, whether it's pizza <laughs> or a hug or anything else. Love you. Tune in tomorrow to hear Reverend Mike with his love note. Yoga says goodbye for now.